Hey guys, welcome back to Medwits Made Simple. In this video, we're going to see about natural opioids such as morphine, which are very important analgesics. Now, let's begin. The analgesics are classified into opioid or morphine like analgesics, non opioid or NSAIDs, which are non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. Analgesics are the drugs that relieve pain by acting in central nervous system or on peripheral pain receptors without affecting consciousness, on contrary to general anesthetic drugs, which will cause loss of consciousness. Opioids such as morphine are more prone to be abused by individuals who are depressed and they'll use these drugs to overcome their depression and on chronic use they'll develop what is known as dependence. So when they try to stop using these drugs, they develop some symptoms which are known as withdrawal symptoms. So it will be very difficult for them to control using these drugs. After using opioids such as morphine, the individuals will attain a state of hyperexcitability and they will be euphoric which means they will feel extremely happy and this, stage, this state is described as a feeling of high by these individuals. The opioids are classified into natural alkaloids such as morphine and codeine, semi-synthetic opioids such as heroin, folcholine, and ethyl morphine, synthetic opioids such as pethidine, fentanyl, methadone, and tramadol. Now let's see about opium. Opium is a dark brown resinous material which is obtained from the capsule of papaver somniferum. The natural, opium, no, natural opioids such as morphine and codeine are obtained from opium. These are the alkaloids in opium which has analgesic effect and they also have many other effects which I'll be talking about later. Now see about morphine. Morphine is the principal alkaloid of opium. Okay. So it has various effects such as analgesic effect so which means decreasing the pain they also cause sedation they also cause euphoria which means a state of hyper happiness kind of state they cause respiratory depression the cough centers are also suppressed by morphine the temperature regulatory centers are also suppressed by morphine and they also inhibit vasomotor centers which are involved in blood pressure regulation. Other effects of morphine includes causing constipation by acting on the GI smooth muscles, suppression of hypothalamus leading to decreased anterior pituitary hormones, hypotension and meiosis which is constriction of pupil and this is a central action rather than peripheral action. So if you administer morphine topically on the eye, it won't cause meiosis. Rather, um, it doesn't have any effect when it is applied topically. When you administer it system systemically, what happens is they'll act on the cranial nerve 3 nucleus and they'll cause meiosis. The morphine stimulates various centers such as chemoreceptor trigger zone which is known as CTZ, Edinger westphal nucleus which is the nucleus of the crani third cranial nerve. They also cause vagal stimulation. They also stimulate certain areas in the cort cortex and the hippocampus are also stimulated. So now let's see about the adverse effects of morphine. The adverse effects of morphine includes Nausea, abdominal pain, constipation, vomiting, and other symptoms such as urinary retention and urgency, respiratory depression, and in few cases, allergy. Now let's see about acute morphine poisoning. The toxic effects of morphine will start to appear at doses above 50 mg. However, the toxic dose of the lethal dose of morphine is 250 mg. So the clinical features of acute morphine poisoning includes shallow and occasional breathing. This is because morphine inhibits the respiratory centers. It also causes cyanosis, pinpoint pupil, which is due to the meiosis, hypotension due to inhibition of 
the vasomotor center and also due to release of various mediators such as histamine which causes vasodilation. They also cause shock, convulsions, pulmonary edema and finally respiratory failure. It's very interesting to know that most of the death associated with morphine poisoning is due to respiratory failure. The treatment of acute morphine poisoning is by giving respiratory support and also by doing gastric lavage. The specific antidote for morphine poisoning is a drug known as naloxone. There are a few cases for which using morphine is contraindicated. This includes patients who have asthma, so when you, when you use morphine in asthmatic individuals, what happens is the condition gets aggravated. So as I told you earlier, morphine will cause release of histamine. This histamine will cause worsening of the bronchoconstriction in asthmatic individuals, so morphine is contraindicated in asthma. Morphine should also be contraindicated in infants because it will cause severe respiratory depression. It is also contraindicated in very elder individuals because morphine is um, more prone to, they are more prone to develop respiratory depression as well. They also develop something known as urinary retention and, uh, also, and some other effects. Now let's see about the tolerance. The tolerance to morphine develops due to um, prolonged use of morphine. Due, due to prolonged use of morphine, what happens is resistance to morphine develops on, on the target receptors so the euphoric effects and few other effects of morphine um, will not take place. Tolerance will develop to almost most of the effects of morphine such as analgesia, euphoria, etc. But few effects such as meiosis and constipation do not develop tolerance. Now what happens when you try to withdraw using morphine? When you try to withdraw using morphine, you'll develop some symptoms known as withdrawal symptoms. This is due to sudden withdrawal of morphine. The features are lacrimation, which is increased secretion of the lacrimal gland, that is tears, sweating, fear, restlessness, midriasis, which is dilatation of the pupil, tremors, insomnia, and diarrhea, etc. The treatment for withdrawal of withdrawal symptoms of morphine is to stop morphine and giving a another drug known as methadone. Methadone is a synthetic opioid. Now, after giving methadone, you slowly try to withdraw methadone by reducing the dose slowly. Now, let's see about another natural opioid, which is known as codeine. Codeine is basically methamorphine. So it is related to morphine it is just a methylated morphine but however it is less potent than morphine the analgesic effect of codeine is very less compared to morphine so let's compare the dose to dose analgesic effects of codeine and aspirin 60 mg of codeine will produce the same in analgesic effect as produced by 600 mg of aspirin okay so in the body, there are certain enzymes known as CYP26, which will act on codeine and they'll cause demethylation and the codeine will get converted to morphine. And this morphine will have all the effects which normal, normally morphine will produce in the body. Okay, so the codeine has more selective cough suppressant action. So it is used in the treatment of cough. Codeine also causes constipation as a side effect. So this can be made use of. This side effect can be made use of in the treatment of diarrhea. The euphoria effects produced by codeine is very, very less compared to that produced by morphine. So the abuse liability is very low in the case of codeine. In our upcoming videos, we'll be talking about opioid receptors, synthetic opioids, complex action opioids and opioid antagonists and about pure antagonists. Like, share and subscribe for more videos. Stay tuned. If you have any doubts to ask, donate $75 or more through patreon.com slash simple and by doing so you'll get access to ask your doubts to us through your discord app. 
and download our lecture slides get your name on our videos as major contributors for nine months are you up this feature is only available for 10 people thanks for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel medbits made simple and share this video to your friends thank you